this is Laurel. Oh, that sounded loud even to me. I'm trying to speak louder for um, those who are having trouble hearing me because I don't have the microphone situation resolved yet. So sorry if that was high pitched. Um, okay, this needs to be a quick video because I actually don't have a lot of things done than I normally do. Um, it is hot as Hades here uh, today. It was 96 in my car earlier and if I didn't have to go out and put gas in my car to drive to work tomorrow I wouldn't have left the house but it is hot it's really hot um, it's not as humid as it was in the past but it's still very hot okay that was the weather report um, so what do I have I have um, do I have work in progress course I've got a ton in front of me that I'm not really working on I do have one that I'm working on I'm gonna grab it in a second um, I have a couple of finished items and then I have a little um, haul not really a haul acquisition acquisitions um, Angelia had posted on her Facebook uh, Facebook page that um, Lion Brand was having a mystery box and it was $9.99 for the box and they had in bulky, super bulky, I think super bulky, um, worsted, different weights and you get to pick which one. So I got a couple and um, there was a delay in, I guess it was really, really popular so there was a delay in mailing it out. Um, it said shipping was three to nine days and it was two weeks after I had looked and they hadn't shipped it yet but it shipped out I think a couple of days after that so it came um, when did it come I got the notification on Friday but I wasn't able to get to the post office so I just picked it up today um, so I'll show that at the end but first work in progress I am just working on another knitted hat and for those who don't like knitting sorry I knit now, um, but crochet will always be here. This will always be the crochet zone, for lack of a better word. Um, but I knit and I enjoy it, for the most part, um, when I can figure out what I'm doing and um, if it's worsted and up yarn. But I'm just working on another of the basket weave beanies that I did. Um, I showed the gray one last week. It was in this colorway. Um, this is actually homespun. Um, yeah, homespun. Lion, lion brand, lion's pride, wool spun. Not homespun. Did I say homespun? Wool spun. So anyway, I am just testing out another size. So that's that. Um, the other whip I had, I finished last night. Um, so finished objects. This is another one of my button cows and this is in hometown USA I think the ones I showed before or well, last time was in um, the AC Moore yarn uh, Hartfeld heritage heritage Hartfeld Hartfeld heritage but this is in hometown USA and this is a yarn I usually use to make these so I finished that and then I had um, this is a little over two skeins I broke into the third one for maybe a quarter of it and then for the rest of it I made a headband and I put the link last time for this this is my Kalina headband that is available on my Ravelry page so those are the two done the other thing that I have done is um, another washcloth I don't think I showed this last time but this was um, last Monday's pattern and it's called the elegant dishcloth washcloth by Umbaka designs so this is it and this is in the Isaac Mizrahi yarn basically it's a premier cotton um, it's really soft cotton um, I don't care for all the colorways I don't mind this one too much um, but I don't think um, I don't think this yarn is definitely not available anymore it's discontinued um, so 
this was one of the discounts that I got at where did I get that it's probably in the AC Moore bin or some discount bin but um, the other thing is I showed last week that I had finished my mystery cal which was the skimming stones I didn't mention it the name of it last time the skimming stones um, shawl and I hadn't blocked it yet and I did so you don't have the rolls and the edges anymore and I didn't I was originally going to block it aggressively so this would really show but um, I felt like especially on the edges that if I pulled too hard that it might snap so I didn't want that after all this work so it is done oh, that's the back so it started on the usual skinny long end went here and then it started decreasing yeah. that's done and I'll pop in a picture that I took of it to get a better idea of what it looks like on the mannequin. That's that. Oh, I did have a work in progress that I didn't show. Um, a friend of mine at work um, who knits and crochets, uh, she just wrote her first pattern. She was looking for a Halloween bag um, and she didn't like the ones out there so she decided to write her own. So. I'm actually trying hers out so this is as far as I've gotten single crochets oh my god single crochets I didn't realize when I first glanced at the pattern it was um I saw the half double crochets I'm like okay and then um, when I sat down to try it I'm like oh my god increased to 96 stitches on single crochet ouch anyway so I'm done I think with the single crochets I'm heading into the half double so that shouldn't be too bad um, the other thing I did with um, scrap yarn, uh, which was the, some of it was the leftover from this, and then other scrap yarn that I had, which is also Hometown USA, I made a little basket. And I tried out the, um, I've done it before, but not a lot, the uh, waistcoats, waistcoat stitch, um, or how I had originally heard it, which was years ago, was the um, center single crochet, which is basically what you're doing. You're going into the center of the single crochet instead of the usual stitch. So I just made up a little basket with, this is all that was left of that yarn. Um, and then I uh, dug into my um, scraps of Super Bulky and pulled these two out. This is a salmon-y color, I think it's, um, it's got a Florida name. I forget what it's called. And then this one is, I don't remember, but I like this colorway a lot. And I do have a few more of it. That's another hard color to find um, on the shelf. You usually have to order it online to, to find it, but I'll put the name on um, once I remember what this one is. I don't remember what that one is. Okay, so my final other finished object is an amigurumi. And I've mentioned before and shown before that my friendly red fox has, she's doing um, an amigurumi for every letter of the alphabet. So she has an A to Z. Um, her hashtag is friendly A to Z. So the latest, the last one I showed was the fox and this time she did a goat so this is Gloria isn't she cute I think she needs a mouth though she needs a smile she looks all sad so this is Gloria the goat so as with all her patterns, she uses um, worsted weight. I'm pretty sure she uses Vanna's Choice mostly for her. Oh, no. Um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn is what she uses. So um, I'm always digging in stash. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had, um, when I did the baby blanket, I had bought extra white yarn to do the, you know, to 
border the squares and do the to do the actual border and I had I didn't need the extra one so I used that and I also had some scoozy Vanish Glamour that upside down I had some of that so I put it together with the white so I'm not sure if oh, here you can see she's all sparkly and then um, so the white is the Stitch Studio by Nicole, which is the AC Moore in-house brand, held with the Vanish Glamour. And then this is also um, the AC Moore, <clears throat> excuse me, from their dollar bin. They're called Studio Samples. They usually have, um, they have a ton of 50 gram balls um, in their dollar bin, and this was one of them. So this is a Studio Sample, and it's just a, a gray, a charcoal gray with... Um, white tint uh, not white silver tinsel the sparkly tinsel in it so I did that the pattern had off-white or a cream color in brown so I went white with the gray and then this is all Karen simply soft this is very similar to it but it's a little thicker than Karen simply soft so I think it might be um, red heart soft but I got it out of the mill end bin so but it's very similar to the Karen simply soft but she needs a smile. Yep, she needs a smile. So yeah, that's Gloria. Um, what else? So that is all I have right now for finished items. I've been very lackadaisical, for lack of a better word, um, which has put me behind on my fall stocking up, but I'm just, I don't know if it's the heat or whatever. I'm having a moment but anyway so um, oh the other thing before um, before I show the yarn I had mentioned last week that I was looking for testers for this so I've named this my footbridge um, beanie because basically I, I um, finished it up um, all the tweaks while I was on vacation on the beach so I named it after the beach. Um, but what I didn't mention is that it is um, knitted. And I know a couple of people have offered to help. And I think one of them, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name right now, um, offered to help. But she mentioned crocheting. And I wasn't sure if I was clear enough that in, in the last video that this is a knitted hat. So if you can knit, I would really love if you guys would help me test this out. All right, on to the yarn. So, as I was saying, I purchased the Lion Brand Mystery, and obviously, oops, knocked it. You don't know what you're getting. So I just went for the, I think I went for the bulky, or super bulky. I don't remember what it was labeled as, but, um, and I haven't looked, so, Yep, by the looks of it, it's super bulky and bulky. Um, I just opened it and just waited, and let's see what I got. Huh. Oh, I like the color, though. Alright, this is... Huh. Does it show? Pelt. It's basically a fun fur. But it's got a dark, tealy color and black. Now the last time I used any of this was when I was doing um, another along um, and it was all the amigurumis and I'd used uh, the boa yarn for hair which worked out great because it was very light and it, it was very fluffy um, so it didn't weigh down the head. I guess that's what I'll be using this for unless I can figure something else out but I like the colors wasn't expecting that and this is considered number five bulky go figure okay that's one. Oh, look at that it's gonna be a lot of rustling zaps I don't know if they carry this still I think this is all discontinued um, I had gotten this from um, a closeout place 
and I had gotten ones that were blue, like cobalt blue with specks of color, and there was another one that was purple with specks of color. Um, but I, this one I hadn't gotten, so I've got three of those too. And it looks like they all come in packs of three too. And this is a super bulky. It's more of a bulky than a super bulky. But yeah, the last time I used this was in, um, I had made the Huggy, Huggable Monsters, I think it's called. Um, I'll put in a picture of it, but I used it and I actually I gifted it to um, Z. So this is the yarn that I used in a blue color because blue is Z's favorite color. So there are three of those. And then, hmm, three of this unique, which I've seen at the stores before, and I've always bypassed it. Not something I would have chosen for myself, but who knows? It's a, uh, where are we? Huh. It doesn't have the number. Oh, that's interesting. Usually all the yarns have like the weight number. Oh, there it is. Number five bulky. 100% acrylic. 109 yards. So, eh. No clue what I'll do with that. It's three of those. Hey, and look at that. That's the red I was just using. Showing in the, um, the knitted hat I'm doing. The wool spun. So, this is what it's like. They've had a lot of these on clearance at, um, the ones I had in my, in my stash, I got at Michael's last year, which was, it was, I think I got it for like 97 cents on deep discount. And right now, Joann's has it for $2 and change for whatever they have left in their bins. And then, yay, Hometown USA. Now, I know some of these colors, yeah, discontinued. El Paso Autumn. Three of those. So this will become one of these. That's what I use those for. And then the leftovers will become a headband. And then the last one, ooh, that one I've definitely passed up. Not my thing at all. Gold leaf. But it's silver. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that and I've had no interest in it. I'll have to look up to see how it, um, there's a pattern on here. Eh. It was a mystery. So that's that. Oh, the other thing I meant to, um, mention. That part of why I think, or I found that I haven't been crocheting as much or getting things done is because of you guys. It's completely all your fault. I watch you guys all the time. I have I have shows on uh, DVR from like last season that I haven't even watched yet because all I do is watch YouTube and watch um, crochet related videos, some knitted. I used to watch podcasts a lot but mostly knitted because that's what was out there but now we have a plethora of crocheters who do videos, um, crocheters who also knit some too, like me, um, but so many more crocheters are out there and it's all your fault. Why I'm getting nothing done. So thank you. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Like I never thought, you know, I've stopped watching a lot of knitted um, podcast because uh, I kind of lose interest because it's not really mainly what I do but there's so many more crocheters out there now so thank you it's all your fault and thank you really appreciate it really appreciate you guys um, even all you enablers out there um, blue cherub 82 Kim she's another one because I love doing amigurumis too and I'll see something and I went out and I bought a book because of her um, so thank you it's all your fault but thank you and that is all I have and um, don't forget about the giveaway it ends on um, 
Saturday, you have to be a subscriber. Um, there'll be two winners picked. The first one who gets picked gets to choose if, if they want the pattern. $10 worth of patterns from Ravelry. Sorry, I keep the fan on. Everything's blowing all over me. Um, or you get to choose the project bag and the skein of yarn, the hand-dyed skein of yarn. So, um, that's it.